The Kids We Were was a mobile game that has now come to Nintendo Switch. Now, don't click off this video just because you heard mobile game. Give this one a chance. It is a story-based game and, personally, I think it's best played on a bigger screen. You play as Minato, who goes on a trip with his mother and sister to a town in which his father resides. Once there, you actually discover that Minato's father, whom he'd been looking for, has since passed away and you have lost all hope of saving your sick sister, who needs a bone marrow transplant to survive. But just as you've lost all hope, you learn you have the power to see the future. Not only that, but you meet your future self who instructs you to go back in time, 33 years to be exact, and solve seven mysteries in the journal your father left you. Sound confusing? It is a time-bending, mystery-solving story with a lot of heart. I will put in the warning here though that it does cover heavy topics, so be warned if you do get triggered easily. The Kids We Were plays a lot like an interactive visual novel. You have large sections of dialogue, followed by a linear section in which you can roam around interacting with objects and people to uncover more about the setting and situation. You will find yourself clicking on everything, scouring every pixel for coins or items in the catalogue. If you do get stuck, you can use a hint option. This gives you an idea of what to do next and tells you if there are any coins in that area that you haven't yet collected. Kids We Were cautiously lets its darker themes unfold and gives them weight and meaning. The depth of characterization for each of the kids is supported by an exceptional English translation. Each of the kids feels real and relatable and keeps you engaged in the story. But I will preface that with saying that the themes do get a little dark and a lot of it surrounds DB. There is no voice acting in The Kids We Were. The music overall is very relaxing, with a combination of atmospheric sounds like the cicadas and crickets depending on the time of day and location. Mixed into the music adds that sense of immersion. The music also changes to match the story beats. The Kids We Were has a vibrant voxel art style. Like a mix of Minecraft and Lego, the visuals do reflect that childlike atmosphere of being a kid and matches the tone of the story. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this style of art. However, I was still immersed in the locations and managed to feel connected to the characters, even if the art isn't particularly to my taste. Overall, The Kids We Were is a wonderful game on the Nintendo Switch. With an evocative narrative, it has a story that you won't want to put down. However, with that being said, it is hard to recommend this game as it covers such heavy subject matter and yet coats it in this childlike innocence. I think it's best for those who already enjoy immersive visual novels and can handle sensitive topics. For anybody else, it may be a hard game to finish. With that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new here. Until next time, bye bye.